All right, welcome back to another video. This is a, another Crown Vic video, but it applies to many Fords. So I'm having problems with my cruise control on my 2002 Crown Vic. It hasn't worked since I bought the car. These are the other vehicles this applies to. Uh, any car that has a actuator controlled uh, cruise control. So it has a box like this under the hood right here. So it applies to many Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury products. As you can see on the list here. And what I'm working off of is Ford put out a technical service bulletin, TSB 6-8-5. And you can Google that, look that up, print this out like I did. And what this is, is this is a walkthrough of steps to take to troubleshoot your cruise control. Uh, in my case, I did some initial testing on the wiring and everything was testing out good. Um... But what I'm going to show you how to do is how to test the electronics on the cruise control, which is this top part here, and then how to test the module below it, which is the actual, uh, there's a little motor in there, and that's what pulls the cable that actually actuates your throttle right here, this cable right here. First th couple things to look for, though, uh, like I said, I'm not going to cover all the testing. I'm just going to show you how to do the actual test. Um, there's a series of button presses and a test that you can do. So, again, real quick though, the first thing you want to look at is make sure your cable is connected. A lot of times it's as simple as this. It pops right off the throttle body or the plastic clip on here breaks. So it's just disconnected. So in this case, we're good there. Uh, make sure that your wiring harness looks intact. Um, if you have a Crown Victoria that has a digital dash, uh, that has a cruise control light that comes on, uh, you won't need to rig up this test light like I did. But if your car does not have a cruise control indicator on the dash, you will need to rig up uh, a test light. I'll show you how I did that. So what we're doing here is, uh, this is a little advanced for some beginners, but it's really not hard. Pin one in this connector here, which is pin all the way on this side, is the output for the cruise control indicator. So if you have a car that has a digital dash, you will have a wire in the harness that comes out of pin one. Well, in my case, uh, we just have the regular dashboard in the Crown Vic here. There's no cruise control indicator. So what I did was I took the uh, wiring harness from the car and actually drilled a hole right here, which I will later fill with some silicone. That way we have access to pin one because there was nothing there. So you can see what the hole looks like. Then I just took a spade terminal on a short length of wire and plugged it on to that terminal. And now I can slide this back over, push the wire through the hole and reconnect the harness. And then I'll show you how we do the test. All right, so that pin number one outputs a ground pulse when the light needs to flash. So to hook up our test light, I've run a wire from the positive terminal in the battery over there, and it's connected to the positive side of our test light. So we always have the positive 12 volt connection. And then the negative wire, I connected to the negative terminal on the test light. And it's in a position where you can see it from inside the car. And you will need two people to do this test effectively because when it does the pull test, it actually actuates the throttle body just a little bit. And to be able to see that, you need to be out here looking under the hood. Uh, in, the tech, in the TSB, it talks about monitoring the throttle PID if you have a scan tool. So if you have a scan tool, you can do it that way. But for most of us, it's easier just to have a partner out here who can watch to make sure it works. Then we'll go inside the car and we'll do the actual test. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pressing the off button. We're gonna put the key in, we're gonna go on, off, on, all while holding the on button. We're gonna end in the on position. And then the light that's sitting on our hood, the test light will flash once. And if it's on your dashboard, you'll see the light flash once. Then within one second, you let the off the off button, press on, the light should flash. And this is our button test. Then immediately within one second, come over here, hit resume, and then skip and go down to coast, and then hit set Excel. And each time you press the button, the light should flash. 
And then after you hit the set Excel button, it will, within a few seconds, it will complete the pool test. And if all your lights flash once, it means your electronics are working. If it blinks five times, it means you have another code. In the TSB, it has a list of what the different flashes mean. So in our case, I'll show you what a working system should look like. Okay, we're gonna so, start. We're gonna hold the off button down. On, off, on. Light flashes, on. Resume, coast, set Excel. And then I actually just heard the throttle body actuate. So I'll do that again. I know it was quick, but you have to be quick. Everything has to be done within one second. So again, hold the off button down. On, off, on. On button, resume, skip, go to the coast, set acceleration. You heard the gas pedal there. All right, now I'll show what it looks like under the hood. All right. So we're pressing our buttons. That's it, it just pulls that much. That means you have working electronics and you have a working actuator. If your lights all blink once, but the pull test doesn't work, it means the lower half, which is the motor, is bad. Unfortunately, the only thing you can do is replace this part. Also, this part is not manufactured anymore. So the only thing you can do is replace it with a junkyard part, unless you can find an electronics company that can rebuild those. So this is just a quick video to show you how to run that, that self-test. Sometimes that's the easiest way to quickly diagnose the system. Uh, obviously, if no lights come on, you might have a power problem. You might have a fuse problem. There's a bunch of different things that could go wrong. You can t uh, Your cruise control buttons could be bad. All that's covered in this TSB from Ford. So like I said, Google that. It's pretty easy to step through, even for a novice technician. And hopefully that helps. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Sure to like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe for more. And until next time, we'll see you later.